Hello students. Now we'll be solving memory based question of gate 2019. For more video solution on gate 19, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notifications. Hello students. Uh, my name is Pranshu Mahajan and uh, in this video we are going to discuss a question from flow between parallel plates that is this question belongs to the subject of fluid mechanics okay so what we have is we have two immiscible Newtonian fluids so immiscible means aapasma mix nahi karenge they will not mix with each other and Newtonian fluids means that uh, shear stress at a point that is equal to tau equal to mu dl mu du by dy okay of same densities but different viscosities are contained between two infinite parallel plates two meter apart as shown so basically this is the figure okay so what they are showing is there are two plates the upper plate is moving with ahead with a speed of three meter per second okay and the bottom plate is fixed the gap between the plates is two meter so there are two fluids which are not going to mix with one another Dynamic viscosity is mu1, dynamic viscosity is mu2 and that is 1 meter. I hope all of us know that because of viscosity there will be no slip condition, there will be formation of boundary layer. So when the plate will move, this first fluid will also flow and once the first fluid will flow, it will drag the second fluid with itself. So within these two fluids, there will be a formation of boundary layer and at the interface there will be a common velocity, right? Now what they are saying is with the assumption of steady state fully developed laminar flow so the fluid is moving in form of layers the two fluids are moving in form of layers and zero pressure gradient so in this flow the pressure gradient is zero this means this flow between parallel plates is nothing but it is a simple shear flow for simple shear flow the velocity profile is a linear velocity profile right I hope all of you remember from the classes that when we discuss it for a simple shear flow that is zero pressure gradient the velocity profile remains only linear otherwise if there is a pressure gradient also the velocity profile will be linear plus parabolic right but this is a linear profile the for zero pressure gradient the momentum equation simplifies to d square u by dy square equal to zero i think this is the same equation which we derive right so otherwise what we do is we derive it like this d square u by dy square equal to some constant into dp by dx that is because pressure gradient is there. Now pressure gradient is zero. So this will become zero. So they are asking if mu2 is twice of mu1, then predict the flow velocity at the interface. Okay. So I think definitely we have to use this equation to uh, integrate and get u as a function of i. But since this is already a simple shear flow, so there is no need of integration. You can directly say that within the fluid one, the velocity profile will be linear. At this point, the velocity that is the uppermost layer, the velocity will be 3 meter per second, right? At the bottom of this fluid, the velocity, let us say it is V, okay? Similarly, for second fluid, the velocity here will be V. And since this is at rest, so this layer will also be at rest. So these are some boundary conditions, okay? But for each fluid, you can write down the velocity profile to be linear. Now, since they are asking at the velocity at the interface, I think what, what will happen is, since we are talking of linear velocity profile for a Newtonian fluid, so linear velocity profile means u is a linear function of y. This means du by dy will be a constant. This you can get from here also. d square u by dy square is 0. Therefore, du by dy will be equal to constant. Now, once du by dy is a constant, it is not a function of y. So, tau will also not be a function of y. This means for this case, whatever you point you may take inside the fluid, the tau will be same everywhere. Similarly, whatever point you may take inside this fluid, the tau will be same everywhere. This means, what we can say is that at the interface, shear stress because of mu1 will be same as shear stress because of mu2. Mu1 can be obtained from the equation from first fluid, mu, uh, sorry, tau1 can be obtained from equation of first fluid, tau2 can be obtained from equation of second fluid. So, I think let's solve the question, okay? Let's complete it and find out the answer. So let us have a look at the solution. So actually the solution is very simple. Based on assumptions, the velocity profile here will be linear. Velocity profile here will be linear. Linear velocity profile means the flow velocity u will be a linear function of y. Okay. Also the fluids are Newtonian. Therefore tau is going to be equal to mu du by dy. Further for linear velocity profile, throughout the fluid, whatever point you may take, the tau is same everywhere. Okay. 
and therefore the tau in this fluid will be same as the tau in this fluid. Moreover, they are going to exert uh, action reaction pairs on one another, right? At the interface, they will exert action reaction pairs, which is tau only, okay? So we have to use only one condition that is tau for both the fluids is same. Now for a Newtonian fluid, tau is equal to nu du by dy where the velocity profile is linear, so it can be written as velocity of the uppermost layer minus velocity of lowermost layer divided by distance between the layers, right? So when I consider the upper fluid, the uppermost layer will move with the speed 3 meter per second and the lower layer will move with the speed of V meter per second, which is unknown. Distance between them is 1 meter, so I will write it as mu1, mu1 into 3 minus V upon 1. Similarly, for second fluid, the upper layer will move at a speed of 1 V meter per second and lower layer will be at rest because of no slip condition. So, you will write it as mu2 V minus 0 by 1. But the two shear stresses are equal, so you will equate them. So, you will have mu1 into 3 minus V is equal to mu2 into V. But it is given in the question that mu2 is twice of mu1. So, I think mu1 and mu1 will cancel out and here you will be left with a 2. So finally, if you solve the equation, you will get the V equal to 1 meter per second. So velocity at interface is 1 meter per second. I hope the video was useful for you. So please like it and share it with your friends so they can have a look at the solution. Thank you.